Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Amanda. And we are serving up all that jam. All that jam, quick hit. Joel Cummins on his upcoming duo show with Brendan Bayless. And you have another show coming up in Michigan. And I was just curious if there's anything you could share about that or how that came together. Sure, sure. So last summer, um, Electric Forest is a uh, another event that my wife works at. So we've, uh, you know, I used to go up there and, and I would, Umphreys has played a few times and then they're, they're kind enough to... Uh, to book me sometimes as a solo artist or as, you know, doing some other duo things or playing with the everyone orchestra. So, uh, so I've ended up uh, playing up there quite a bit as well. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's such an incredible event. And last year um, while we were up there, we had both of our kids with us and the day after the festival is over on the Monday, which is the same day that we have uh, booked here, um, they booked Paul Hoffman of Green Sky Bluegrass to come play their venue. And I don't know if you guys have looked at pictures of this spot at all. The venue is called The Deck in Muskegon, Michigan. And it's this amazing little, it's like a little container stage, but it's on a beach. And then it has kind of these, you know, different levels of, uh, it's a restaurant as well. So, mm-hmm. you know, people are eating, drinking. It's like a super fun family vibe. There are, you know, kids there running around. It's just super cool. And it's right on the dunes there in Michigan. So uh, you're on the water. It's, it's gorgeous, you know, and uh, yeah, I went, so we brought the whole family last year and had a great time doing it. And I uh, ended up talking to the, the folks that own it there and, and, you know, mentioned, I'd love to do this next year if you guys are into it. And lo and behold, we ended up having this uh, this time off. And so, you know, Brendan and I have done a couple duo shows together. Uh, we've probably done uh, seven or eight of them in the past. We haven't done one for five years, though. So it's been a while. And, uh, you know, it's an it's an easy, uh, easy thing for him to get from Chicago to Muskegon. So and uh, we'll be right there at the end of Electric Forest. So it just made a lot of sense logistically and um I'm really stoked to do this. You know, they, I know they think that, uh, this will, this will be a great night. It was like a really fun party kind of post electric forest thing last year. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing in Michigan. Our Michigan crowds are always, uh, always rowdy in the best of possible ways. No doubt. Yeah. It's a fun place to be during the summer too. Weather's good. It's just, yeah, good, good vibes up there. Definitely. Um, do you, do you bring, are you bringing your whole rig for that? Or are you just going to pick out a keyboard or two to use? Yeah, I'll just pick out a keyboard or two. I'm probably going to bring my Nord stage, which is kind of, uh, you know, covers it all and can be a piano. It can be a Rhodes. It can be a clap. It can be a Whirly, even organ if I need it. Um, and then maybe my little, I have this thing called um, a Yamaha CP Reface. Let's see, do I have it over here? Where is it? Here it is. <sighs> I'm surrounded by keyboards here. Do you have all 119 in the room with you right now, or just all all 119 exactly? Now check this thing out. So here it is. This is the Yamaha CP Reface, and the keys are smaller than usual keys as well. Um, so it's got it's got the the coolest thing about it. It's got great like Rhodes, Whirly, Clab, CP. Um, CP70, I think is what it, what it's called. It was kind of this old, you remember the band Keen? Remember those guys? That was what that guy played. Or um, U2, New Year's Day. That's a CP, okay. that sound, right? But it's got this delay thing on it, this endless delay where you can basically set it up so it'll create a live loop. And so it's a, a really nice keyboard to, to use. So I'll probably bring that. And this thing is obviously super fun and easy to travel with and you know, I bring it on the back of the Umphreys bus, uh, you know, probably half the time just to have something to fool around with back there for everybody. Like, it's just a fun keyboard to sit down and mess around with. If you are enjoying All That Jam, please like and subscribe to our social media channels at All That Jam Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our website, allthatjampod.com. Make sure to sign up for our email list and tune in every week for new episodes. 
Also, look for full interviews on our YouTube channel. And remember, stay beautiful, but don't stay underground too long.